Hi friends, welcome back. Myself Amit. So I am here with the continuation of previous topic that is on strain energy method. In the previous lecture series, that is first lecture series, we had studied a complete concepts with respect to strain energy method and uh, what are all the standard cases and uh, as well as what are all the formulas that is need to be remembered to find the value of strain energy as well as deflection. First, we need to find the value of strain energy. with respect to normal condition after finding out the value of strain energy by making use of this value with by applying castiglianus first theorem we are going to find the deflection after finding out the value of strain energy we are going to apply the castiglianus first theorem to find the value of deflection the castiglianus first theorem is valid only for one is determinate structure it is already explained in the previous lecture series and also when the principle of superposition is valid these are the two cases should be satisfied in order to apply the castiglianus first theorem where we are inputting the value of strain energy to find the value of deflection okay in this lecture series let us study some of the standard cases strain energy and deflection okay let me take the first standard case let me take one um, cantilever beam carrying a load w let me take this point as a and this point as b and with respect to the uh, uh, by referring to this structure we need to find the value of strain energy stored in this structure as well as deflection okay oh, fine so first let me cut the section saying xx to a distance x from the loading point from the point b next the next step is what is the moment at this structure that is moment at a point this point is x the moment at a point x will be equal to so i am very sorry just take this as x I wrote W. Okay, just take this as x. The moment at a point x is equal to minus W into x. That is because the structure is sagging. Just you have to stand here and you have to look into this. The structure is sagging. That is sad smiley. Okay, since the load is coming in this in the upper direction, the structure is sagging. so i am taking it as minus w into x i am just what is the value of strain energy i mean what is the formula for strain energy formula for strain energy is let me take this distance as l integration of since this is the origin points from 0 0 to what is the total length total length is l from 0 to origin to l mx square moment at a point x of its square into dx divided by 2 ea is the standard formula to find out the strain energy method and also in the previous lecture series i had explained if i am taking this is the structure what is the what is dx dx is the sum elementary area of the structure will be equal to dx after finding out the value of dx you are going to apply the limits that is 0 to l you are going to get the strain energy for the entire structure so i'm just i'm making it as mx square mx square is equal to w square into x square that i'm going to input here which is equal to 0 to l what is the value of mx mx square is w square x square into dx divided by 2 ei now you have to integrate the value dx with respect to dx so i'm taking it outside i can w square divided by 2 e i is taken outside and integration of 0 to l with respect to x square into dx the integration of x square will be equal to where w square divided by 2 e i the integration of x square will be equal to x cube divided by 3 very simple this is the basic concept so x cube divided by 3 and i need to apply the limit for this from 0 to l So if I multiply this three with w square divided by three to the six e i, where l cube minus zero 
will be L cube which comes to be W square L cube divided by 6 E I. So the strain energy stored in the structure that is the strain energy stored in the structure will be equal to U is equal to W square L cube by 6 E I. This is the first standard condition. Please remember this directly in uh, in the examination they will directly ask the value for strain energy carrying a cantilever beam carrying a w at the end okay next for the same thing we can find out the deflection by applying castiglianus first theorem castiglianus first theorem to find the deflection will be equal to dou u I mean partial derivative of strain and dou u divided by dou w. Okay, so which is equal to dou with respect to dou w. What is the value of u? The value of u is equal to w square l cube divided by 6 e i. Is it fine? So we need to partially derive it u with respect to w it becomes 2w fine then remaining all the things remain same divided by l cube divided by 6 e i so 2 1s are 2 3s are so delta will be equal to w l cube divided by 3 e i that is what i am saying first we need to find the value of strain energy present in the uh, structure after finding out the uh, uh, strain energy in structure we need to apply the Castiglianus first theorem to find out the deflection and you are going to get the deflection as W L cube divided by 3 E i this is the first condition next I am going to solve the second condition so what is the second condition same I am just taking like this so taking a cantilever beam instead of point load it is carrying a uniformly distributed load throughout its entire span and the uniformly distributed load is w per meter is acting upon the complete thing and let me take the length is equal to l so in the same way what i am going to do i am cutting the section at a dis at a point x from a distance x let me take this as a point a and this is a point b this is the distance x from the point b i am going to cut the section next what is the value for finding out the strain energy in the particular section where u is equal to integration of 0 to l mx square dx divided by 2 ei so what is the value of mx mx is equal to since again it is sagging okay since again it is sagging i am taking it in terms of minus okay i am taking it in terms of minus i am just uh, okay minus okay w mx okay mx will be equal to w into so w is the load which is uniformly acting throughout the span w into what is this distance i am taking moment at a point x minus w into x since it is uniformly distributed load it is x by 2 which is equal to minus w x square by 2 what is the value of mx square which is equal to w square x power 4 divided by 4 i am going to input this value here which is equal to 0 to l the mx square value is equal to w square x power 4 divided by 8 e i which is equal to w square divided by 8 e i integration of 0 to l uh, this is dx x power 4 dx what is the value of integration of x power 4 integration of x power 4 is equal to x power 5 divided by 5 okay integration of x square x cube by 3 integration of x cube 
x power 4 by 4 likewise okay so if i integrate it which is equal to w square divided by 8 e i 0 to l i mean let me integrate this so integration of uh, x to the power 4 is equal to x power 5 divided by 5 from 0 to l so w square so 5 adds of 40 divided by 40 e i into l cube minus 0 so the strain energy with respect to the structure is equal to w square l cube divided by 40 e i is the strain energy stored in this section so in order to find the delta delta is equal to dou u with respect to dou w partial derivative which is equal to dou divided by dou w what is the value of u u is w square l cube divided by 40 e i so the partial derivative of this it becomes w square it becomes 2 w into l cube divided by 40 e i 2 1s are 2 20 is the deflection with respect to the structure is equal to w l cube divided by 20 e i in the examination sometimes they may ask what is the strain energy stored in the body what is the deflection if you have st strain energy is this one in order to, if you want to find out the deflection you first you need to find the strain energy and you need to find the deflection so these are the standard cases okay let me write first one please remember this in the examination if you remember this formula you will save your time this is the first standard condition the strain energy stored in let me take this as length w u is equal to w square l cube divided by 6 e i so this is the strain energy stored in cantilever beam carrying a load w at the end second one is it is also already we have solved that is w per meter to the length u strain energy is equal to w square l power 5 divided by 40 e i then third condition third standard case is i am taking one simply supported beam here also you can follow the same step since l by 2 l by 2 the whole length is l let me take this as a w the strain energy stored here is w square l cube divided by 96 e i this is the, st the uh, standard condition and the fourth same thing for simply supported beam carrying a uniformly distributed load that is equal to w. this u let me take this as length l u is equal to w square l power 5 divided by 240 e i okay please make a note of all these four conditions this is because many attempts i had seen in the many of the examination papers where they are directly asking the standard conditions if you remember the, these four conditions so you can directly mark the answer so that the, it will be a very um, you can save the time in the examination if you don't remember this of course you can solve like how to solve i had uh, showed you but it consumes some time if they have given some of the trusses like this if load is w is acting and it is fixed and in this condition they may ask what is the deflection let me take this as a point a b c in the critical structures you can find the value but if they ask the standard conditions then without wasting the time you can answer please remember all the four conditions which is very important and directly asked in the examinations that's all guys i will come up with some of the critical structures with respect to some of the quadrilaterals from of the semicircle how we are going to find the strain energy in the next uh, lecture series thank you one and all bye bye